Hey, what's happening, guys? We are talking about the Creality Ender 3 V3. No suffix, no prefix, just this, the newest Ender 3 from Creality. I've had it for about a month now, and I have really been uh, using the heck out of it. And it, it is on right now, and it is waiting for us. So let me show you a little project I've got here. So this will be kind of a review, kind of a project thing. So we're work with me here we're coming around we're coming around we're coming around there is a thing called ham clock this is a raspberry pi uh, driving a little 12 inch display and you can see those little plastic uh legs i've made to hold it well i don't like those ones exactly so i created some different ones and i'm going to show you just how easy it is to set it all up and send it to the printer without ever leaving your seat all right so here is my design. I drew it in Tinkercad. You can do it in whatever you want. I've already exported it, so we're going to get out of here. This is uh, the Creality Print Slicing Software. File, open file. It's called Ham Clock Stand. It's going to move it around here. And I want two of them, so we'll clone it. Clone it one time. And then, just so they're not completely goofy, I'm going to come over here, I'm going to select Mirror, and we're going to Mirror one. Boom, just like that. Now the patterns will all match up, you know what I mean. So we'll get them nice and close to each other. We're printing with PETG. This is a Sane Smart white PETG that Sane Smart sent me, along with the printer. So thank you, Sane Smart. And I click Slice. Okay, so you see it's going to take 30 minutes to print these guys. Everything is pretty much ready to go. I can click LAN printing. Confirm I want to print this. Why? Why? Yes, I do. Choose the printer. Well, I only have the one printer. So there's my printer. Come down here to one-click printing. Boom. You can see it's uploading the file. And now if I send you over to the printer, you should be able to see... Ah, oh, the screen is not on. Hang on. There you go. You can see what we're printing. Okay, while it's getting ready to print, let's talk about the specs on this printer, because it is a very unique printer. Again, this is the Creality Ender 3 V3. No S-E-K-E-J-E-P-E-U-T, nothing. Ender 3 V3, this final form. It is a 600 millimeter per second high speed all metal build Core XZ with a dual gear drive extruder, 60 watt, 300 degree hot end, hands off auto leveling with an 8.66 by 8.66 by 9.84 bed size. It is 12 times faster than a regular ID3 style 3D printer. I mean, that's incredible. Uh, the new direct drive extruder kit has a bolster spring and a ball plunger for more than a thousand hours of clog free extrusion is that true i don't know like i said i've had this guy for about a month i have run three or four rolls of uh filament through it and i've only had one thing go wrong and that was due to the spool which we'll talk about in a little bit All right, guys, I don't know how many printers that I have reviewed in the last year, 15, 16, somewhere in that area. Um, my favorite has always been the Elegoo Neptune 4 Pro, but this printer has taken over. So let me show you some of the, uh, the items that we have printed, okay? So this is the first one. Let me get out of the shadow here. This is a wire antenna winder. This is printed on... Um, PLA. This is Elegoo Rapid PLA. And this is one of the first prints I did off of this thing. Look at that first layer. It is just gorgeous. This thing has, not this, the printer itself has load cells in all four corners, and I'm pretty sure there's one in the center of the bed too. Along with the uh, touch sensor, it sets itself up just phenomenally. So like I said, this is PLA. 
This is another PLA uh, creation. A little different on the uh, first layer there. I think I had maybe a slight difference there. And you can see I didn't do supports. There's just a little bit of string in there. And I like printing this. That's a good half inch off the deck. Without supports, I did pretty good. The uh, sizing and everything I have found to be quite precise. I mean, these parts just fit like they're supposed to right there. Then I moved on to Pet G, and I have never had any luck with Pet G. I have clogged up every single printer I've ever used with Pet G, except for this one. This is the clear Pet G that Sainsbart sent me, and the antenna hanging in my tree uses this. A whole bunch of stuff uses this. This stuff is fantastic, and I'm using the whatever settings are in Creality Print. I touched nothing. Look how gorgeous that is. Now these green ones you see here. These are G Tech uh, Pet G, and it's it's fantastic too. Let me show you something here. We'll go over here. There is my uh, Shegu G90 radio, and it's a really nice little, cost-effective, high-frequency. Um, what is it? Uh, Three to thirty megahertz HF ham radio, and it comes with these nice little metal. You know, side protectors here to protect you from getting your knobs and stuff knocked off if you take this out. But it doesn't come with any feet, and that screen is small and you need an angle. So I've tried a whole bunch of different things. This is what I have ended up with. So let's go back over here, and I'll show you how we got there. All with the uh, Creality Ender 3 V3. So I started just trying to come up with something near to what they had. And then I massaged it a little bit more. Then I thought I'd get creative and put some hexagons in there. But finally, the final form of this turned out to be just super simple. And again, I, now I drew this in on shape. And I printed it with the Creality print. Changed no settings. And you can see there is just, just a hint of stringing. Not much at all. Fantastic. And then this is a big one that I printed last night. I'm going to drop this so you can hear how heavy and solid this is. This probably weighs a pound. So this is going to be a vertical antenna mount for me. You can see the uh, coax connector goes here. I've got screw holes here where you're going to put um, radials for the antenna. And then the entire thing is going to get coated. Well, not the entire thing, but the top of that deck is going to get coated in uh, adhesive copper tape. And we'll have our connections. But look at this. Look at these first layers. This is what I want to show you guys. This printer is absolutely hands down the best first printer I've ever touched. You put this thing together with four screws. Let's go over and look at it. So, assembly. A couple screws here, four screws here. There's two here, two from up underneath. Same thing on each side. This goofy spool holder just snaps on. Um, the head is already assembled. You need to put this uh, reverse Bowden tube in here and put a couple clips on. Slide that down on. Make sure you set the voltage and you're good to go. That's all there is to it. I mean, you got to plug in the wires, of course. But... And it is ready to go. Now, like I said, this is the Core XZ. All right, all the printers that you have seen me use, with the exception of the Cheaty Tech, that big giant white enclosed one, were what we call bed slingers. Just like this, the bed moves back and forth instead of up and down. And then that's your Y axis, this is your X axis, this is your Z or your Z axis. So in the Core XY printers like the, the uh, Cheaty Tech, the X axis and the Y axis are connected together and the Z axis moves up and down on its own. In the regular printers, um, the i3 style printers, Nothing's connected together. Each axis has its own controls. Now this being a core XZ or XZ, the, the Y axis, the bed axis is on its own. The X axis and the Z axis are connected together and they each share a motor on each side here. If I can get back there and show you where it's at. Yeah, there's the other motor. 
right down in there where those wires go. Now, it's all die cast metal. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. I have had, like I said, I had one clog. Other than that, no problems whatsoever. This goofy spool holder, on the other hand, I don't like it. When this thing has to home itself, it goes up to the top, it goes over, it's pulling out its filament, then it comes back down, it pushes the filament up, it gets tangled up. Now, they have sent this beautifully, uh, this looks like carbon fiber 3D. Could be ABS, I'm not quite sure. Yeah, it's probably not fiber. Anyway, this clips on like so, and it's supposed to use a little bit of pressure to keep your filament from spinning around. In my experience, it goes click and locks itself up under there and gets messed up with the filament. So I don't use that. All right, let's let this thing print and uh, we'll come back and have another look at it in a bit. I mean, is that thing fast and sweet and everything else, or what? Like I said, this has been, without a doubt, the easiest 3D printer I've ever used. It, it requires almost no user interaction whatsoever. You do need to keep the PEI plate clean. I use uh, rubbing alcohol on a daily basis, and once a week or so, I use uh, Dawn dish soap. Nothing abrasive. Make sure your nuts and bolts are tight, especially anything that is handling the filament. So everything behind that silver creality shield there, <clears throat> make sure they're all tight. If that filament can leak out, it will, and that will be an issue. Let me tell you, I know. I pulled a ball off of one, not this, not this printer, but I pulled a ball of filament off a printer once. It must have been a 250 grams worth of a PLA filament. And again, this goofy spool thing, they should have just stuck to keeping the spools on top. I don't know. I don't like this. Maybe I'll uh, see if I can design something to put it on top. I don't know. Now, I know a lot of people will print in the dry box and have it sitting like that, so perhaps that's why they did it. But uh, it's been so dry here in Ohio this winter, that just hasn't been a necessity at all. This thing ought to be about done. Yes, it says it has 0, 0.00 minutes left. So we will watch it finish out its last line of print here. And that's it. You come down here, and in a second it'll say done. Once the uh, head reaches its stop point. See, I mean, it's pulling it all the way up to the top, which pulled out, oh, I don't know. 24 to 30 inches of filament. So yeah, very cool. So guys, that's the Creality Ender 3 V3. All metal, Core XZ, 600 millimeters a second. 220 by 220 by 250 bed size 3D printer. I think if you're new into the 3D printer market, this is a fantastic entryway. I think if you're experienced in the 3D printer market, you will enjoy how easy this is to set up and use. I think Creality really hit one close to out of the ballpark on this, uh, minus the goofy spool holder, but that's minor. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this on the uh, Creality Ender 3 of V3. 3D printer, and if you did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. Big th thanks to Sane Smart 
for sending this out, along with the excellent Sane Smart Pet G uh, GT3 filament. That's it. I'm out. Peace.